Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, we're going to be discussing one of my new products that I keep getting numerous um, emails about. Uh, I've answered tons of questions about this unit because many of my videos now have it. Um, and that is the Ewat 200C Smart Infrared Soldering Iron Tip Cleaner. Um, this is an automatic tip cleaner, and you can see here on the box, this is the actual unit you receive if you purchase it. It says clean your tip in approximately one second, and they are not kidding, guys. This unit I am extremely impressed with. I've used it now for about three months, and I must say I use it every day, and it has never let me down. It's an amazing unit, no different than their soldering stations. I'm really excited to be carrying the unit. Um, for my guys out there who are dealing with circuit boards, the unit is, of course, ESD safe. Um, <clears throat> break her open real quick, show you the exact box, how she comes. This is the exact packaging because I have guys that always ask me, you know, what is, it, how does it look, and you know, how, what exactly uh, the actual kit comes with. <clears throat> First thing you're going to notice if you break open the box is their certificate card. Now these units are ISO uh, qualified, so it's ISO 9001 spec, so your quality is definitely there. You'll know that as you go through the unit, you can see the packaging and whatnot. Warranty, of course, the unit is warrantied. They don't cover naturally shipping um, overseas. But one thing I will tell you is I have all the parts. So if you message me and you require a part, I usually do a swap out because I don't have to pay um, usually any surcharges as far as um, part replacement. So I can be a U.S. distributor, and it streamlines the entire process, which, again, if any of you have ever tried to replace a part on a Heiko or uh, another imported brand, it can be tedious. Here is the actual user's manual, which is kind of a joke. It's very, very... Uh, small, <clears throat> but yet this unit's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, as you look at it, you can see here you've got your product features, and of course over here we've got the parameters that the unit actually uses as far as the adapter output, because it does use a DC wall adapter. It's powered by 12 volt, one amp. Um, you can see here motor voltage, 12 volts, uh, motor speeds, 4,500 RPM. Um, the unit itself is magnetized, and I get a lot of questions on that. I'm going to show you exactly how to clean it and how to service it. Very, very simple. You can see if you turn it over, you do have the Chinese version, but if you turn it on this side, everything is in um, English. Very, very easy to understand. Um, <clears throat> again, packaging, very, very simple unit. Nice, uh, dense foam. Here's the actual unit. To give you an idea of just how simple this is, you've got your barrel connector for your power. Um, to separate it, it's magnetized, so you just separate the two ends, boom, for cleaning. <clears throat> you can see here, we've got our slag tray. It says right here, please uh, clean the tin slag, keep, the, keep clean inside. And you can see basically this is all plastic. So, And this is what I really love because when I go to actually empty this, I always rinse mine out. And of course, being plastic, you're not going to hurt anything. Um, you do have felt feet on here too, so if you're on a surface, you don't want to scratch anything, you're golden. Um, inside the unit is what really impressed me. Um, first of all, you can see you've got seal bearings. Okay, and we've got our pulleys on the seal bearings, got the, the typical rubber band pulley module right here. Everything rotates really, really smooth. And you can see here, the unit comes with pre-installed nylon brushes, both sides. <clears throat> In order to service the unit, you've got these little pins right here. You just pull them out and just remove the actual brush. As a matter of fact, I will show you that give you an idea. Just pull the pin out, slide out your brush, you're ready to clean the entire unit. It's very, very quick to do. Slide it back in, done. Install your pin again, done. And again, on a new system, of course, these pins over time will stretch out slightly so you can either bend them back. The main thing is, is that you just take your time when you're trying to put them back because they will, they kind of move around a little bit. So you just slide them in carefully and you'll be golden. There we go. And that's it. So again, cleaning the unit very, very quick. Um, I'm going to show you exactly what the system comes bundled with because it's pretty, it is pretty amazing uh, for how cheap this is of what this unit comes bundled with. Barrel connector, once again, for power, all heat shrink and solder connections, which is pretty much unheard of on everything you can see on the motor as well. Um, you can see how the motor is well protected from the slag guard. Um, once this, once these, mo these actual brushes spin, all of your slag will catch right here. <clears throat> and, and the idea is naturally to fall directly into the tray. However, I can tell you if you're using flux, it will stick here. You just got to scrape it off. Here's your infrared sensors. And you can see your sensors are properly mounted um, on both sides. And basically, I've got mine right here and it's all set up. For those of you who haven't seen how easy this is, here's your soldering iron. Stick it in. Leave it in, take it out, 
your entire mat and the area, and area that uh, you're working will naturally stay much cleaner. It's a much, much faster process. Um, again, to reassemble. And one thing I'll, I'll point out that I do use, because I get guys that ask me, what do you lubricate the bearings with? <clears throat> I use an industrial lubricant from Kano Laboratories. I'm a dealer with uh, Kano, which they typically only sell to Fortune 500 companies. And when I say Fortune 500 guys, I'm talking Lockheed Martin, I'm talking Chevrolet, Ford, the big ones. Um, they make an industrial line of lubricants. I use Silicroil, and you put a drop of Silicroil on each of those bearings. I have it on installed in mine, and I can tell you right now these things will last forever. Um, as far as reassembly, none. <laughs> it doesn't get much easier than that. Um, very, very simple to clean, but let me show you how complete, and this is what I mean by I really am impressed with how they package their units, whether it be soldering stations or other accessories. Once again, we've got our wall outlet right here, 12 volt, one amp, you're set for power. The brushes, they give you an additional two sets of brushes. You've got an additional uh, a set of nylon and an additional copper set. Now, I like the copper set myself, but I've used the nylon as well. Um, nylon is good if you're doing real fine work, I find, but the copper brushes for doing the terminal type connections I do seem to work really well. You get, uh, once again, technically three sets. You get one set installed plus two extras. You also get a slag cleaner, and this is just a piece of nylon to give you the scraper. You can just clean and scrape. I mean, it really didn't miss any details. Again, super, super easy to pack <clears throat> as far as how the unit comes bundled. Put it in there, and you can see everything ships just like this. So if you guys are international, this unit, of course, ships this way. It is double box prior to shipping. So Again, these units are packed really well. The quality, I'm extremely impressed with, and I can tell you I'm using it at a commercial level. I am soldering every day. Um, so if you guys do have any questions, because I know, of course, every time I do a video, I always have more questions, that's fine. Please message me. You'll see the contact information on the screen. To all of my subscribers, guys, I love you. I hope you're being safe. Um, I wish you and your families the absolute best right now, and uh, I'm trying to stay busy myself with catching up on some um, videos that I, I really have a lot of products I haven't even discussed yet. And new things are coming out, um, and I'm excited about that. So, again, guys, if you have questions, please message me direct. Storm2313 at gmail.com is my direct email. You can also contact me direct through my eBay store, eDealers Direct. You'll see the link on the screen and also below. I'll also have the link to uh, the, the UI200C as well. Um, if you guys want to message me through there, and I know some guys want to just message me and email me, that's fine as well. Um, I'm also going to put a link to my Silicroil because many of you guys, I don't even know if many of you have seen it. I've done videos on it in the past. The stuff is absolutely amazing. I mean, if you search Amazon, you search anywhere, you're going to see the stuff is the real deal. If you're looking for a penetrating lubricant with actual silicone in it that will coat, that stuff is by far and away the, the best I've seen, especially if you're dealing with firearms or uh, precision type lubrication. It's really the best I've used. Um, so again, I want to thank you all. Please be safe.